Boya or do not so can you have a baby? Why can't it? Be interactive, you know, we want to keep the vibes right and everything like that. So make sure, like I said, you have your questions ready. Um, but right now, we are going to enjoy some official Ghana sounds from Aqua Aqua by Dance and Drumming. Everyone, please give it up! Please give it up! Please give it up.
it is time for the buffet, so it is time to eat. So for those who have wristbands, they are gold. They are gold wristbands. If you, if you do not, if you do not have a gold wristband, you can purchase a gold wristband. She 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 has a lot of experience in in the nursing field, nursing industry. She has a lot of friends worldwide in the nursing industry as well. I um, mean, also, I'm her older brother too. Right. Clap it up for him. Clap it up for him. Right? All right, so I want to introduce her, and we are going to continue the diaspora. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up for Alicia. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Um, first and foremost, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, because you coming out basically shows that you all are interested in the future of healthcare, you're interested in the, joining the conversation, bridging the gap between the diaspora, and that's what we're all here for. Um, so a little bit about me. My name is Alicia, the founder of Nurse on the Move. Our goal is to connect healthcare professionals and nurses through travel, philanthropy, and education. When I was 10 years old, I lived in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I went from a public school in Columbus, Ohio, to a private school in Ethiopia in less than six months. And I think that's where my love for Africa started. And it grew in adulthood. In 2019, I came back to Africa, West Africa, for Afro Future. And ever since then, I've been back to literally the component of getting back. And I thought, I can do this myself, but with nurses that I know, and I can give back to the people in the community. So we've been doing it for about three years. Um, this year, I have a group of 14 nurses with us to give back to the community through outreach. Thank you. So um, the goal is really just for us to be here. We're gonna talk about tech, we're gonna talk about social media, community building. I have some amazing panelists that I think will spice up the conversation. And I also have some amazing guests that can also add to the conversation. So um, without further ado, I'll start introducing the panelists. Everyone, how's everyone doing today? Say good, good, yeah. good. My name is Nurse Lois. I'm from here, so I was born and raised here in Ghana. I had the opportunity to move to the US when I was nine years old in 2006. And so it's so beautiful to me to see so many black Americans and we got Caucasians in Ghana. Like, this is not how it was in 2006. I remember when I moved to America, I was almost embarrassed to say that I was African. You know, at that time, how the media portrayed us was everyone was starving. They never showed the good. And so I'm super, super excited to have you all here to experience the fun. You know, we, we do the giving back. And so really helping Americans and just tourists see like both sides of Africa. It's not all bad. I'm gonna be a spoken word artist who would speak life. Tom Whiskey used to hold a pen because from now until I die, I was gonna write from the black child to a beautiful black woman. Still nervous when I- Because building networks and communities can have its challenges. What obstacles have you encountered? And how, how did you overcome your obstacles? in your efforts to connect the diaspora. 